Hello everyone, Yeldigo Namaskara, welcome back to CMARTS Academy. In today's video, we are going to answer to one six marks question from chapter 6, non-competitive markets. So most of you have requested for this particular question. So let us begin with the video. So what is the question? So question is, explain the short-run equilibrium of a monopolist firm when the cost of production is positive by using TR and TC curves with a diagram. Very easy concept. Tumba ne sulabha idhe. Artha adhre idha na neat agi niwo. Bari baudu. Complete 6 marks ni mege score maadli ke saadhya idhe. Okay. The only hurdle here is to draw the graph. Graph maadli ke unsalpa kashtaan tanis kodhu. So that is why I am drawing the graph in the video itself. Kindly have a notebook, your scale and pencil and draw along with the video. Okay. So first what we have to do is we are going to make a graph. In the graph, x-axis ali now output anna math math y-axis nali we mark the revenue cost and the profit. Okay. So since our question itself is about TC and TR curves. What is TC and TR curves? Total revenue matthu total cost curves. So first we shall draw these two curves. So this question again you answer maadu vanthadu total revenue matthu total cost in adharadu mele ne. So first again now total revenue matthu total cost curve anna draw maadu. Now, how is my total revenue curve? We know that it starts from zero. So, first you have the business and start madwaga. It is not going to give you the profit or it is not going to fetch you a lot of money. Everybody will start from zero. How the So, we are starting from zero here. Then, slowly it will increase. So, it will increase Martha Hogi. Just go on increasing it, increasing it. And reaching at one point, what happens? Our total revenue will start coming down alva so one the point are the nantra number total revenue reduce aglike start agate so total revenue curve draw aitu next ge now draw maadlikke iruvanta curve yavdu total cost curve so total cost anna now zero in the start maadalla we are not starting it from zero why because we know that even if no production is going on, there are certain costs which is bound to happen production utpadane nadita illa anta helidrunu kelavondu cost gal idde irutte Maybe paying the rent of a factory. So, there are certain cost which is there from the right beginning. So, the total cost curve will start a little above the zero. So, somewhere here we shall start. So, total cost curve in Agathe, the increase Agatha Hogate. Till one point it increases. Till here, Nantra total revenue cost and cut Madi. It will increase in this manner. Okay. Then after a portion, Total revenue anna matte edu cut maadatthe andre. Total revenue kintha hechu. Total revenue kintha increase agatthe anna. So this is my total cost curve. So we are clear with the total revenue and total cost curves alva. Now we shall draw the output lines. So output lines anna hek draw maadatthe. Your first output will be this point. So e point e nidhe. The intersection point is the number first output i2. In on the intersection point e nidhe adhana kuda draw maadatthe. This is our last output okay. So this is our last output. So, this graph is not in the same way. This point is in the This point, here if you see, this is the total cost curve and this is the total revenue curve. Okay. So, which is greater here? Total cost is greater than the total revenue. Okay. Now, before I explain further, there is one simple concept that you have to understand. What is profit? See. Very simple, profit, it is nothing but total revenue minus total cost. Total revenue, nama what to adaya minus what to karchu. So, yesterday, then now profit, our difference and now profit and the consider martive. So, when do we say that there is a profit in a firm? Business only profit acta there to the firm profit martive then the now yava kerteve. Whenever the total revenue is greater than the total cost. Then what is loss? When my total cost is greater than the total revenue, total cost, and tell me what to which and I used to kharch maadi de no, adhu nanna total revenue, nanu galisi dhak kinta, nanna adaya kinta hech adaga, na vadhanna loss and the consider maadi de. Now this is something that everybody knows, alright. So either basic and it kondu, we shall try to understand this diagram. So in this first portion, e first portion ali yen agi de andre, you see here, this is our total cost curve. So illi total cost curve vide, idhu yenu the total cost. Revenue curve. Alba. So, how is it? Which one is greater? So, in this portion, total cost, this is the total cost, is greater than total revenue. Correct? So, how is it? This portion, whether it is a loss or a profit, it is a 
loss. So this much portion is considered as loss. Okay. Now we will go to the next portion. So E area not only from this line to this line which means this much region. So E regionally E naakta idhe. This is my total revenue and this is the total cost line. Haa gidhre total revenue E naakide. Total revenue is greater than total cost. Correct. So total revenue greater than total cost adhre E naakide ku. The firm is making profit. Very good. All right. So this region, this whole region is considered as my profit. Okay. So E one the portion I to E one the portion I to. Next coming to the third portion. So E line in a nantra, E point in a nantra. E naak se the note koli. Here what happens? The total cost is above. Total revenue is below. So matte E naagi the illi. Total cost is greater than total revenue. So E line in a nantra, E point in a nantra. E portion ali E naak se the. The total cost is greater than total revenue, which means the firm is making what? Yes, the firm is making loss. So, did we understand this much? So, this is the section of the firm. Starting the loss of the firm. Middle, the firm is making profit. Then, again, the firm is going to the loss again. Now, we will divide this profit section. So, this profit section is also the profit of the profit. So, this portion is the profit of the profit. Why is there a difference? See the difference here. Total cost and revenue are the difference. Here, there is less profit. 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 Here again more profit. The space is increasing. So again profit is more. Here the highest profit is there. After that again the profit is decreasing. But the final profit is getting more and more. So which is the highest profit? Here the portion is the highest. This portion where it is highest. That is my maximum profit. Correct? No? Okay. So this portion where it is highest. That is my maximum profit. Correct? No? So we shall draw a line here where this is my maximum profit. So, this is my Q0 level of output. So, this is the name of the name of the name. But, the explanation is the name of the name of the name. Okay? So, now I am naming it as Q0. Nantra, one more portion we shall take. So, this portion is the name. So, we shall take this portion. So, this is the profit of the name. But, comparatively less profit. So, this distance is the name of the name. See, this is smaller. This is a larger profit. So, this is the maximum profit. I will give it as a name A. Now this point I will name it as Q1 level of output. Then Q2 level of output. And this one let it be Q3 level of output. Alright. Now this portion of profit, this portion I will name it as A and B here. Okay. Now we shall join these lines to this axis. Fine. So, what will be the name here? Yava curve with you. This is the total revenue curve. So, I will name it as TR1. And this one is my total cost. See, the total cost line. So, I will name it as TC1. Now, if at Q1 level of output, E Q1 level of output, see what is Q1 level of output? Q1 and the head is right. अष्ट प्रोडक्शन मारता है इधर वन द इमेजिनरी फिगर अन्ना नावेली कोड वन था वी आर सेइंग सपोज इफ द फॉर्म इज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग 100 यूनिट्स और 200 यूनिट्स वी आर गिविंग वन अल्फाबेट फॉर दैट सो अष्ट अन्ना प्रोड्यूस मार दिद्रे अंदर क्यू वन अन्ना फॉर्म प्रोड्यूस मार दिद्रे अष्ट आउटपुट so, TR1 minus TC1, correct? Total revenue minus total cost. TR1 minus TC1. What is my profit? This line segment, vertical line segment, AB. AB is to profit. Okay. So, we understood about the Q1 level of output. Haagidhre, Q2 level of output kinta kadime. Zero in the Q2 level of output na varege production anna maadidhre. If my output is below Q2 level, what happens to the firm? We have already seen the firm is incurring a loss. Then, if the firm is producing after Q3, Q3 na nantra kuda production anna continue maadidhre. Matte ye nagate, again the firm will be making loss. Adhana kuda naavu nodidhre. Haagidhre. Profit maad bheke idhre. If a monopoly firm has to make profit, then what should be the level of output? Yavudhu ideal level of output antha naam kari bodhu. Profit yelli aakta idhe. Profit is happening between Q2 to Q3. So Q2 in the Q3 na vadage naan output anna produce maad idhre. So production anna maad idhre. Matra the firm is making profit. Are we very clear with this much? Alright. 
ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಫ್ ದ ಫರ್ಮ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿದ್ರೆ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಎಷ್ಟನ್ನು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ದ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ಝೀರೋ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಇಫ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡ್ರಾ ದ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಕವ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಕವ್ ಅನ್ನ ಡ್ರಾ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿದ್ರೆ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ವರೆಗೆ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಝೀರೋ ಇಂದ ಕೆಳಗೆ ಬೀಳಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಲಾಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಗ್ರೇಟರ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಡಿಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ಯೂ ತ್ರೀ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆರ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೈ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಕವ್ ವಿಲ್ ಲುಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೀವು ನೋಡ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಸಿ ಹೇಗಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನೋಡಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆದ ದಷ್ಟೇ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ನಂತರ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಟೀನೇಜ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಗ್ರೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಅನ್ ಅಡಲ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಡಲ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಮೆಚ್ಯೂರ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಸ್ಲೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ದೆನ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ಯು ರೀಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಏಜ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಇದನ್ನ ಬರೀಬೇಡಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಗೆ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಅಂತ ನೆನ್ಪಿರ್ಲಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟೆ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಇದನ್ನ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀಬೇಡಿ all right so quickly we shall look into the notes so here it is written so non point wise bardidene new bekidre paragraph maadkondu bariri whichever is your choice okay so this will be easy for you to understand so hagagi point hakidene so the profit received by the firm is equal to total revenue minus total cost so this is something we know profit ana hege calculate maarteve total revenue minus total cost that is clear next in the figure it is seen that if quantity q1 is produced the total revenue is tr1 and total cost is tc1 the difference tr1 minus tc1 is the profit so yen helidare nav igagle nodideve the same diagram what i drew just now this is the same diagram that just now i explained so q1 level of output alli yen helidare total cost eshtide total cost is tc1 what is the total revenue total revenue is tr1 and how do we calculate the profit here profit hege calculate marteve total revenue minus total cost so tr1 minus profit is depicted by the length of the line segment ab that is the vertical distance between tr and tc curves at q1 level of output so illi profit anna now hege depict marteve we say that ab is the profit so ee line enide idanna now profit anta karithevi it is vertical line alva so vertical line segment ab represents the profit then when output level is less than q2 so when the output level is less than q2 what happens the tc curve lies above the total revenue curve yenagutte total cost curve total revenue curve kinta hechagide so as the tc is greater than the tr the profit is negative and the firm is making losses so this is what i told in the first portion q2 ginta kadime output level iddaga what happens the firm is making loss here because the total cost is greater than the total revenue then the same situation exists for the output levels greater than q3 so output level greater than q3 ee q3 nantra output anna produce maadidaglu kuda same situation irutte andre illi kuda loss incur agutte because tc is greater than total revenue i hope you all are understanding there is no confusion all right then hence the firm can make positive profits only at output levels between q2 and q3 hagidre firm elli profit anna maadabodu it can only make profit between these two outputs q2 vinnda q3 varage produce maadidre output anna produce maadidre matra firm profit maadlikke sadhya so this whole portion is depicting our next the monopoly firm chooses that level of output which maximizes its profit obviously so monopoly firm yavadanna choose madutte aa output level anna choose madutte which is giving the maximum profit elli hechu profit idyo aa output level anna yavade firm produce madutte this would be the level of output for which the vertical distance between tr and tc is maximum andre maximum profit elli irutte ee distance ee vertical distance elli greater idyo that is the maximum profit point for the monopoly correct so hagagi now ee point anna maximum profit anta karitheve and this occurs at level of output q0 so idanna namge elli kanlikke sadhya so maximum profit is seen
ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಈ ಕ್ಯೂ ಝೀರೋ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಏನಿದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೊಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬಯಸ್ತಾರೋ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪೇ ಅಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಆ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಮೊನೊಪೊಲಿ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಯಾಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಈ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆಗುವಂಥದ್ದಲ್ಲ ಕ್ಯೂ ಝೀರೋ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಫಿಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮರ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೋ ಆ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಫರ್ಮ್ ಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೊ ದ ಮೊನೊಪೊಲಿ ಫೋಮ್ ವಿಲ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ದ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಕರೆಸ್ಪಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ quantity level q0 on the demand curve so yes that was all about today's concept so illi challenge annodu enu anthe helidre nimge diagram annu draw madode ondu dodde challenge alva so hagagi ond eradu moor sari diagram anna practice maadi it will become perfect then explanation i think all are very good enough to explain it idanna artha maadkonde aa diagram anna artha maadkondre ellaru kuda aramagi idanna explain maadabodu 6 marks thegibodu okay very easy question please do not skip it try to practice this all right so i hope the concept is understood thank you so much for watching see you in the next video till then take care bye namaste